The crucial meeting of the Assam cabinet was held in this for today. Our chief of bureau Arindam Das caught up with Minister Ranoj Pego for a briefing on the cabinet resolutions. Listen in. We have with us Assam Cabinet Minister Mr. Ronald Pegu. Well, today there was a cabinet meeting. So, what were the discussions and resolution in that meeting? Uh, there were many resolutions, uh, decisions, but particularly the important ones are the Assam government, Assam cabinet has approved the broad framework for implementation of national education policy in higher education. So far, our higher education. This framework was three plus two, three years of degree course and two years of post-graduation. Post -graduation. But today we have approved the new framework of four plus one, the four-year degree course where there will be scope for a student to get her or his degree for three years and after that a degree with honors, degree with research, uh, th those facilities, those scope will be there. The multidisciplinary uh, principle and uh, multiple entry and exit things have also been approved uh, with one year of study in a degree course one can get a certificate and two years of course one can get a diploma uh, three years one can get degree and three plus one year extra for honors or for research or if there will be provision even for a postgraduate diploma uh, so this new form framework has been approved now we are appealing it is uh, it is up to the universities to uh, sock out the detail, actual uh, syllabus, the curriculum, and that the universities will be doing. We are giving just the framework, and as we have a Rajya State uh, Siksa Ayug, uh, immediately this framework will be placed in the Rajya Siksa Ayug, and we hope to get the approval of the Siksa Ayug also, and the things will start rolling for implementation of the national education policy in Assam in higher education sector. Uh, that was one important thing. Another important decision, uh, during the previous government, uh, we had started constructing 119 uh, special model school in the backward tea garden areas. On 25th and 26th of May this year, uh, this is just after one day, we will inaugurate all these 96 schools at one go. What were the other issues discussed in the cabinet? Uh, other issues, one is particularly for the limiting the speed in the highways and the state routes uh, in the state. That was an important decision. Then excise rule uh, has been amended. So there will be, you know about the liquor shop. And we, in particularly in the rural areas, there were many on shop, most of the on shop is, will be converted to off shop. Uh, there shouldn't be, but in the national highways and towns and uh, cities, the rules are rules will remain uh, mostly same, and there is some high cop uh, license fee. Sir, any 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 discussion on the flood issue? No, there is no such specific discussion because flood situation is subsiding, and as you know, there is the massive destruction that has taken place in. Uh, uh, the Mahasau district, the railway department is sanctioning uh, the required amount for restoration. Road connectivity has been restored but needs to be repaired or restored completely. But connections, can, communication has been re-established. But restoration of the infrastructure, it will take some time. See, Gunutsab is going on as scheduled. It has started in 12 districts in the second phase. There are some schools in the remote area where we are facing problem to holding the Gunutsab. We have already deferred the Gunutsab in three districts, South Chalmara, Hujai and Hailakandi. So along with these three districts, the left out schools where we couldn't today start the Gunutsab, we will take it up on a later date. Thank you very much. That was Assam Cabinet Minister Ronos Pigu speaking to Northeast Life. Reporting from Guwahati, this is Arindam Das for Northeast Life.